So Felicia, oh yeah, in a side, you could define yourself in a you never have enough internet for join a, 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 a group. Hey. Carter, you never promised me some past paper. Who who that? Who may promise that? So I go a case. No, I love you. So I never send us some past paper. What do you? Where? I never you me send. You You're well done. All right, may I send you something now there? Thank you.
All right, guys. Um, I sent you this last class based on what we're doing. Did any of you had an opportunity to go through um, this stuff? Sir, you know, I always try and attempt, but this time around, I really didn't get to review it. So please okay. don't hold it against me, but I really didn't get to review it. Sweet. Thanks for your honesty. Um, anybody else? Anybody else got a chance? Anybody at all? Mm -hmm. But then I see him live with that, yes, sir. See him live. Yes, sir. I got a chance to go through it. Okay. Is it clear enough, Ajay? Um, the first part is clear. When I got down to the last part, um, I, I had a question about it, but I think it's pretty straightforward. I wanted to know why you use 2x raised to the x power equal 1. Um, instead of using the negative four. Because it can't find a logarithm of a negative number. Oh. oh, so it always has to be the positive. It's very good. And that's why, that's why, that's why I'm a lover of mathematics. Um, people who are lovers of math don't think negative. Mm, could I fool me? Go about the business, boy. I'm going to eat the Chinese food. Right, right, Oje? You're that far. So, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, so so OJ, you can't you can't take the 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 the, the logarithm of a negative number. <clears throat> so therefore, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be throwing out that negative four as a possible answer. And if you don't believe okay. it, try try trying calculators now, all of you, please. Press log, open bracket, put a negative sign in there, close the bracket, and press equal and to make it. Error. Error. You get an error. So there are no solutions for that. So we'll have no solution for x equal negative 4. Always remember that. You cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. It doesn't exist. So therefore, we're going to... In the future, in the future if we get a question and um, both y is equal and negative... The question will just, end there. Just write this. No solution. Okay. All right. And then um, you can tell them that your answer is that. All right. Um, I'm going to just run through very quickly once more. Um, thanks, Oje. Is there anybody else who did um who attempted the the stuff? This is a, this is a grown up part of math. So that I like. Mini, talk to me. Is that it? Yes, well, sir. So, at seven. Sorry, I'm not hearing you. I'm stuck at seven. I'm at seven. I think you did seven in class, no? You're stuck at seven? Oh, thanks for reminding me because um, the device wasn't right in the last time. I never had a device. I couldn't find the connector. So I didn't do all the other questions. All right, no problem. So I can go back to that one. All right, press pause on that, Winnie. All right, did anybody else go through this um, question that way, the, the, the industrial question that way, the last thing that we did in class? All right, so I'm going to start my class where I ended my other class. Um, is when I give no homework? I can understand if something come up and just never get a chance because that happened to me too sometimes, you know. But I just had a long talk with my calculus one students just now because for the last couple of weeks, I have been doing a one question, two question for homework. And it's me saying one, turn one, I'm going to do the question in class. That's unacceptable because I'm spending far too much time working the question and the only reason i do it you know is because i know the must have questions on the exam and i know so one of those questions will come and i want to pass the exam me no one's on the face again 
So that's why I'll go through this stuff. But me never set no homework for them last um tonight. Because when I set homework, the homework is not being done. So I'm gonna say to you, pre calculus students, that when you get homework, it's not because I don't have anything to do or because I want you not to have fun. It is to reinforce what is to come. So you never get the chance to look through this. I'm going to ask that all hands and eyes are on deck. I'm going to go through this once more, but I'm not going to spend the length of time I did when I was first going through the topic. Finally, if I'm teaching something in class and you seemingly have a little bit of understanding to it, and you say, yeah, man, sir, I feel all right, man, come here, may I understand some things. You see, when you leave class and don't go home to reinforce it, that understanding is like the seeds that were planted and the birds just come and just devour it. So you're not going to have no fruit tree to grow. You have to go out there and till the soil and water it so that at least it can bear fruit. Please and thanks. Let's go. So before you jump into it, what 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 do you call this portion of it? We'll reach with with um quadratic um logarithms equation. quadratic no man, no man, equations. It, no man, it's no man, it's um indices equations, but Lord, it have it have logarithms in it, so and it have one for something, but it's indices equations. And the equa if you were to get one of those, the equations will look just like where you have it on the screen. Now look different. All right, D. Okay, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so this is it now. So you're given 2 to the 2x plus 3 times 2 to the x minus 4 equals 0. We have to recognize that the question, the function cannot be combined. The first two terms cannot be combined because they are different terms. One term is raised to the 2x and the other term is raised to only x. So because of that, they are different. Matter of fact, the term that is raised to the two x is moving at a faster rate than the other term. So therefore, two different terms. So what I'm going to do is to look for the of the two terms. I'm going to look for the simpler of the two, and I'm going to let that one be y equal. So two to the x looks like a simpler function than 2 to the 2x, than 2 to the 2x. So therefore, what I'm going to do is let y be equal to 2 to the x, 2, two, two raised to the 2x, and then I am going to be Squaring both sides. And when I square both sides, then I'm going to get y squared is equal to 2 to the 2x. Look at that for me, please. Look at that and tell me what to get. Look at that and tell me. So you know, right? Not else is what you have on the screen looking at, right? Yeah, but it's what I have on the screen. Because all I'm doing is just going through the question I said before. Let me know when you finish, please. Okay, all right, so let me get to know. Okay, what about the rest of you? All 
All right, no response, I'm moving on. So now, I'm, I'm always going to be using the smaller of the two terms to let that be equals to y. Sometimes I went to the exam and they them kind of very generous. And they will say to you, let y equals 2 to the x, or y equals 3 to the x, or y equals something. Sometimes you'll do it. Other times you have to find it yourself. So now, having found now that my y squared is equal to 2 to the 2x, I'm going to substitute into the original question. I'm substituting into the original question. Substituting into the original question, anywhere I see um, 2 to the 2x, I'm going to put it as y squared. And anywhere I see 2 to the x, I'm just going to put it as y. Watch me. 2 to the 2x, that is y squared. See here, sir? 2 to the x is y. So this is plus three times y. See here, sir? Minus four equals zero. Now I have my quadratic equation. Now I have my quadratic equation. So now, my quadratic equation says y squared plus 3 by minus 4 equals 0. I must factorize. So what I'm doing, I'm looking for a multiplying the coefficient of y squared by the constant. One times negative four is negative four. I need two numbers. When multiplied gives negative four, but when added gives my middle number, my middle number is positive three. So on two numbers and a multiply to get a give me negative four, but when added gives me a positive three. And everybody can see those two factors, what are they? Positive four and negative one. Positive four and negative one, correct. Positive four, negative one. So all I'm doing here is substituting my positive four and negative one for my three. What I tried to do was to color code it. So I put the three in pink and the two factors also in pink. You follow me? Repeat that again, yeah. sir. Repeat that for you. Um, so I get the, the, the numbers of um, the, the number that can, when added to four, gives, how do you say? When added to, when added, we get that part, but get the other part, though, sir. Mm hmm Sorry, I'm just. Is there anybody in the class here for the first time? Well, I get a treat, sir. Yes. <laughs> Not quite. I was going to tell him, say, this is too late, so they can't stay. But nobody answered. All right. Um, right. So, so right here, let me bring it up a little. What is happening right here is I'm breaking up, I'm breaking up my, I'm breaking up my three y into two terms, two factors. So that when multiplied will give me my positive three, <laughs> negative four. But when added, we'll give me my positive three. Remember now, I will show you to work the stuff. No matter how you work it out, 
there will only be two numbers in the whole world that can satisfy that condition. And those two numbers are negative four and positive. No, positive four and negative one. Positive four, negative one. Now look at what I'm doing. I'm grouping. I'm grouping. I'm putting the first two in my parentheses. And I'm putting my last two in the parentheses. Put my first two in the parentheses. And then put the last two in the parentheses. All right? Then I say, before I say, remember when the negative sign is in the middle, the last sign has to be flipped. You see, the last sign here is negative. It now has to be flipped to positive. That's why I put it in pink. The last sign out here was negative, negative four. But because I factor out a negative one right here, so I have to flip this. I'm putting it to positive. Sir, what if this were positive? I flip it and call it negative. That's rule number one. Rule number two, whatever sign that is here has to be the same sign that is here. At this stage of the calculation, both signs in the brackets must be the same. With me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is common here that is common there? Why? What is left? Give me a Y. So how do you know why? Because Y times Y is Y squared. I mean, I take out a Y from 4Y, I'm going to have 4 left. Or you know? Because Y times 4 is 4Y. What number is common to every single number you can think of? One. 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 So therefore, I'm factoring out a one. Sir, why couldn't factor out anything more than a one? Why couldn't factor out anything more than a one? Because I'm telling you, is one is common between one and four. There's no other number between one and four that is common other than one. So I'm factoring out the one and I'm going to be left with y plus four. Now, look at what will always happen when you do a question like this. If it is factorizable. If the question is factorizable, you'll always see something like this. Something what here, so? What in the parentheses here, so? We're supposed to be the same thing in the parentheses right here. So why, sir? Because it, this is being factor out. You may factor out things that are common. You only factor things that are common. So I'm going to factor out the y plus 4. And this is why I write it right here. So y plus When I factor out y plus 4, what do I have left? This y. And this negative 1 done. Yes, sir. Ooh. Any questions? All right. Press pause now, Mr. Shaw. Every time I ask a question, it's the same voice that I'm hearing responding to me. Or there's a little conversation going on in the class sometimes with me, there a little bit more voices, and I'm able to differentiate those voices. There are quite a number of you in class. You don't unmute when you come to class. You don't participate. You don't contribute. You do nothing. This is going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. Open on a mode. Let me know exactly where you guys are at so that I can help to fix it and to close the gaps, the learning gaps that is. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Sir. Yo. Are your um, audios available? No. Are your recordings available? Diana? 
Yes, sir. All right, after after classmates. <laughs> no, ask yes, them. Just then I'm going to upload them to the YouTube channel there. To the YouTube channel. I'm checking on Canvas. Then I'm going to use Canvas for much. Diana, how much time you ever say YouTube, 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 and go to the district? Hey, Diana. I didn't know that because you're so yeah. familiar with Canvas. I've been looking on Canvas. Uh, that's why I'm not asked. All right, mm -hmm. No, my YouTube. All right, pick up yourself. YouTube. All right. So now, and they're, and they're all up to date, incidentally. Um, where am I? <laughs> up to date. They are up to date. I got a message from a student to say that one video was posted twice, but they are up to date. And I said, oh, oh, sir, we can't, we can't laugh. <laughs> I know you're la I know you're laughing already. You know, you've been choked on the Chinese food. What you say? <laughs> okay. you have to come, Dalla, you have to come, come lick it back. I'm going to take you to the city. I'm going to comprehend that one. Here. Go on your thing. <laughs> Sir, what's this topic? It's still logarithm. Well, I, I really want to move on, you know. But yeah, we're still on unit two. I'm supposed to be moving into unit three. Is, okay. um, is Hamlet in class? Is there a Hamlet in class? As I talk about unit three, H A N N. No. No. All right, let's go. And then now, what we're doing, when you wake up, up, sir, up, up, up. Okay, go to, go to, go to, go to. Um, all right. You can board? I'm asking, can you zoom the screen a little bit, more, please? No, I, you have this document already, no, love. You don't see it? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Is that good? That's fine. Sir. Okay. So explain the bottom part now, please. Right. So before we dive in, so um, so either x plus y plus four or y minus one equals zero. So if y plus four is equal to zero, it means that y is going to be equal to negative four. All of this working out is just to show you step by step. Y is going to be equal to negative four. And if y minus 1 equals 0, what value of y can I put here to make this 0? Here it has to be 1, because 1 minus 1 is not. Remember, when you're doing questions like these, you know, you're talking about opposites. What's the opposite of positive 1, class? Negative 1. Same so. All right? So we're looking at opposites. And then when we come here, so either this y is equals to negative 4 or y is equals to 1. One of two things. Either y equals negative 4 or y equals 1. We have to reconvert. Why? The mandem never given a y into the question. We were the ones who were bright and include a y in it. So we have to know, take out back the y, so to speak. Because if you leave the question like that, it's not going to be fully right. Because they're not introducing something new to it. Let's go. So you know that y is equal to 2 to the x. Sir, where do you get that from? See for so. Therefore, let y equals 2 raised to the x power. This is important. That's why I put it in a different color. Very important. So, wherever I say y, I'm going to put 2 to the 2x. 
So I'm going to have 2 to the, not 2x, but 2 to the x. 2 to the x is going to be equals to negative 4. Yeah. There is no solution, as I said earlier. No solution. But I should be able to find something for 2 to the x equals 0. Let me ask you a question. 2 to the x equal 1, not 0, but 1. 2 to the x equal 1. What is the only value that this can take in order for the function to be equal to 1? Why raised to the 0? 0 power. 2 raised to the 0 power. Very good. 2 raised to the 0 power. Why? Anything raised to the 0 power equals 1. Magic. Anything raised to the power 0 equals 1. That's the end of the question. That's the end of the question. X is going to be equal to zero. All I did right here was also work out and show you. All right. I'm going to give you. Boy. All right. Let's just start with number one. We're going to see how many of these questions are can in class tonight. I really need to finish off this topic, guys. We're taking too long on it. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you eight minutes to do this question, starting now. To the number one, sir? Yes, thanks. Okay. Terminate your sir. Um, this one said, do know, do know question one. Sir. Sir. Yes, yes please. We're using the same rule up top where y equal x or. Why is it equal to what, Diana? to the x very good my love excellent See, i'm just trying to um that's what i'm trying to ascertain if we're using the same rule up top to do this yeah man yeah man yeah yeah man i'm just asking because i want to see if you're funny okay all right good job my love the rest of you please the rest of you you're way too silent you know and you're going to go into the exam with those misconceptions Is I'm not here. All right, you have seven more minutes.
Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Are you finished now? Are you finished? No, sir, not yet. Give me two minutes. No, sir. Sir, yeah, scroll up back to the top now. I'm going to see something. I'm picture with me tape blurry. It's in the book, that t-shirt. Tell that t-shirt, make that talk, Mr. Strong. No, please, please, and thank you. Okay. May I wonder, you talk very strong. Yeah. All right, you see, you see it in a group, that t-shirt? Yes. All right, in a group? All yes. right, may I check? All right, cool. Yeah. Hey, man, who's that? Are we here, sir? You know my mom, right? Ah, I talk to you, well, go on. <laughs> All right. Um, is it that when you is it that when you work it out, you're supposed to end up back with the zero? That's what it says. What zero? It says equals zero. So after oh, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So I'll try. 
Yes, I try. Um, I try something. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. So bear with me. Nah, no, no problem. But yeah, we can everybody finish. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you two more minutes and then I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll come to the, the solution. We can look at the solution. Good job, though. Terrible time on the right. Me hope so too. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. No. Um. Number two. I'm sorry. Number one. Number one. Number two, three, two, it's going to start 
Muito bem. Good to it. What again? Two, or two, two times two x minus five. Sir, I'm not so. There's a big two, and then there's a two to the two x. Right. And then the minus five, and then two raised to the power of x plus two. Plus what? Plus two equals zero. All right. So DP says, I want to go, sir. Am I say the same way? I'm going to say, yeah. Let y equals what? 2x. 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 Don't tell me 2x. Two to the power. Uh, two raised to the power of x. Thank you, please. <laughs> two raised to the power of x. It makes a difference. Where are we from there? We don't understand what's going on. I think I am saying stuck in a traffic and I can reach it. Um, all right. So, I'm going to let y equals 2 to the x. Therefore, what is y squared equal to? 2 to the power 2x squared. No. Yeah. yeah. To the power of, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to resubstitute. Two y squared minus 5 times y plus 2 equals plus 0. Two, I'm factorizing, so I'm going to be multiplying the coefficient of y squared by the constant. 2 times 2 is 4. I need two numbers when multiplied together gives 4, but when added give me 5. Negative 5, what two numbers? Negative 1 and negative 4. Thanks very much, Roger. Sir, so we remove the brackets. What I did. Uh, um, Diana, what, back in some movement. So the two um, times the two raised to two x. Yeah, Sorry. man. Yeah, man. That... Yeah, man. Sir, good. Um, good night. Could you just explain um, how you get this or how you factorize it? They said that two number multiply, you give you five. I'm going to add it to give it two. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm multiplying the coefficient of y squared by the constant. The coefficient of y squared is the number in front of y. And I'm multiplying by the constant. What number is in front of y? Two, sir. What's the constant to you? Two. Y. No, what's a constant to me? Five. What's the... <laughs> Five, what? <laughs> Sir, what's what are you constant... doing? What's the constant to? What's a constant term? She gave it, she gave, she gave it the correct answer at first, and I said no. And then she switched and said five. That's true. So I'm going to multiply two by two to give me four. I need two numbers when multiplied together gives four. But when added, it will give me a negative five. I am uh, correct. Yeah. Right, good job. So, Ajay, you're right. So, it's going to be negative four and negative one. When I multiply those two negative numbers, I get a positive number. 
But when those numbers are added, I'll get a negative five. So I'm going to substitute now. So I'm going to let, sorry, no, not let. I'm going to say 2y squared minus y. If you want, I can put 1y minus 4y plus 2 equals 0. Then we're going to group. 2y minus 1y in one bracket. Leave out the middle sign every time. When the middle sign is a negative sign, you have to put some respect on his name and flip the sign. You notice up here, so what's positive 2? The only answer becomes negative 2. So why? Because I'm factoring out a negative sign. When I multiply this negative 1 out here by this negative 2, I'm going to get back this positive 2. Make sense? So go again. Um, yes, sir. sir. You were breaking up when she asked about how do you factorize them. And I, I didn't hear anything after that. Can you please repeat how you get the factor? I'm multiplying the coefficient of y squared by the constant term. 2 times 2 is 4. I need two numbers. When multiplied together, gives 4. But when added, it will give me my middle term. Okay. Understood now? Yes, sir. Good job. Sir, for the group, you were saying something about the negative. I didn't catch what you said. When the negative sign is in the middle, it says to us that both brackets, sorry. When the negative sign is in the middle, you have to put some respect onto the name of the stuff. So let me show you something here. You notice all along up here, so it's positive two. Sir. Yeah. Right, when I'm factoring out a negative sign, that becomes negative. So if it were a negative and I factor out a negative, what would it become? Positive, positive. yeah, you're just flipping the sign. And then the second part of the story is whatever side in one bracket has to be the same sign in the other bracket. Okay. Both brackets must have the same sign. What is common here, guys? That is common there. Why? Why not? Why? Mm -hmm. Why, sir? Good job. So it's going to be why? What is left? 2y. Two. 2y Two. Two minus 1. Good job, Sharice. Whoa, Sharice, eat lunch today? Yes. Got you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, got you. Got you. And what is common here? That is common there? 2. 2. Watch out. Go there, girl. Go there. Go there. Brother, you know, share, share. Brother, you, man. Yeah, man. Very nice. You're going to get the um, same thing. 2y minus 1. Good job. Good job, my mom. And then it's equals to 0. And then now what is coming between all of this now is going to be the 2y minus 1. Can you see that? Yeah. Winnie, wake up. Oh, sir. Oh. Okay. Sir, scroll up, please, on this. Oh, all right, thanks. So either two y minus one equals zero, and that implies that two y is going to be equal to one divided both sides by two. Therefore, y is going to be equal to one half. Similarly, I'm going to let y minus 2 equal 0, which implies y equals 2. Am I finished right there? No, yes, sir. No, because why? Um, you have a positive number, so you have to find what x is equal to. No, that's not the answer, Audrey. 
I have to... the why it's not in the equation. Very good. No, oh, well, share, share. No, stop, share. What time for lunch? I just ate. You just ate. Do me a favor. I want to eat every day. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Very nice, sir. I, I see that you're understanding. Very nice. Congratulations. Big up yourself. Um, and the rest of you, I want to follow what Cheryl's doing. She's really getting this. I know Audrey get it already. And I mean, there are others of you in the class that have it. But there are students in here that are struggling and refuse to unmute. So, very good. So, Audrey, what, what Cheryl is saying is that I have to reconvert because the question never given up. Oh, no, why? And me putting wine in there, so I have to take it out. So I'm going to let now, I'm going to let um, y equals 2, and y is equal to 2 to the x is equal to 2. Uh-oh, we can't solve for x right here, so what is x? x equal 1. Good job, Papa. Do you, do you agree that 2 to the first is the same thing as 2? Yes, sir. So since the bases are the same, So I have a value of x. My value of x is in b equals to 1. Let us check the other one. Let y equals 2 to the x. What is y? Y is a half. No. Y is 2 to the x. No. Y is a half. So me, I'll make mistake. Nobody now currently, as if in a, in a class. Uh oh. OJ, can you see that answer? What's the answer, OJ? Um, the answer that I got was um negative one. Negative one, sir. Very nice. Watch this trick. Recall. A uh half -huh. is the same thing as 2 to the negative 1. So therefore, 2 to the negative 1 is equal to 2 to the x. Since the bases are the same. We equate. The x is equal to negative one. X is equal to negative one. Sir, um, before you before I move on, if I go back to the top, I repeat. Um, top of the page, please. Sure. Sorry, didn't you say we can't have a negative answer? You can't find the logarithm of a negative number. Oh. So 2 to the negative 1 is not a negative number. 2 to the negative 1 based on indices is 1 over 2, which is positive a half. Uh, all right, sir. So I understand everything, but I don't really understand why I make um let y equal two x. What is the, you know, what is that coming from? I don't say everything. Okay. The first thing is I don't have y equals two two x. What I have is y equals two raised to the x power. Now, what's the purpose of it? Is to make a substitution into my equation so that it's solvable. It becomes solvable. I can't solve the equation as is. I can't solve the equation as is. So therefore, I have to make a substitution before I can go ahead and solve. 
Okay, sir. Sure. Thank you. No problem, Papa. Um, I have a question, sir. Um, for the last part of the question, um, if it's that we're in an exam setting and um, I stop at x equals one by just finding two raised to the power of x equal two, <laughs> x equal one. Um, does can I stop there? Or do I need to work out the next one, which is um two raised to the yeah. x equal go all the way down go all the way down all so i would have down. to do both of them yes sir question come from north all right i have a question there i'm stepping out for two minutes i have another question there start with please Excuse me, sir. What you said? You're stepping out. Do the question. Do the question. Like, at the oh, oh, okay. Yeah, man. Thanks.
Anybody finish? Yes, sir. Good job. Um, I'm I'm interested to to see what it is that he did here. Um, Roger, because matter of fact, before you even say that, anybody anybody start a question? Dino. Yes, sir. I'm attempting <laughs> to do so. I am gone. I'm at a level, but I'm not even sure that I'm correct. But I'm I'm going to I'm going to answer. All right. Tell me, tell me what to do. there's a trick to the question. And I want to see how many of you can um would have um identified that trick. Um um okay, talk to me. How you do the question? So Marie, oh sorry. Oh, so for my question, so where you have four raised to the power of x, um, that four can be broken down. I'm um, proud of you. Two, two squared. I'm proud of you. If you keep it up, two boss. Squared x. So it would be two raised to the two x power. It is equal to two to the two x. Yeah. Very good. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Good yes, job. sir. Very, very important. And then now we can say rewriting. 
two zero two x minus six. Let, let y equals what? 2 raised to the y x power. Y equals 2 x, 2 2 x. raised to the x power. Yeah. So therefore, y squared equals? 2 raised to the 2 x. Um... So I'm going to have y squared minus 6y minus 16 equals 0. And that is where my stock are coming. I remember how to do the factorized part. And that's where we even follow because you should know how to do factorization. We should know, but the thing is, we keep confusing me. Is you say use the coefficient of y. What is the coefficient of y, Dalio? One. I have one y squared raised to the yeah. One times one times sixteen, Dalio. One times six. No, the, no I'm gonna tell you what confused me. One, no, if we use the coefficient of y and the six y are the sixteen, and that's a confused me. I just that I just that more I know, you know. The coefficient what, of when, y squared times the constant. The constant. Uh, so one times negative 16 is how much? One times negative 16 is negative 16. I need two numbers. When multiplied, we'll give me negative 16. But when added, we'll give me a negative 6. What two numbers are you talking about? Um, two, two and, eight. and negative two and eight. 8. Negative 8. Very good. I heard a few of you answering me. 2 and negative 8. My factors yeah. are... 2 and negative 8. Okay, so it's a, it's a constant. And so, therefore, so therefore, y squared minus 2, no, plus 2y minus 8y minus 16 equals 0. I'm in a group into y squared plus 2y minus, leave the middle sign out every time. When I leave the middle sign out every time, what happens to the last sign? It change it. This is what sign? Positive. Positive. Okay, change it to a positive. Good. What is common between y squared and 2y? Y. What is left? Y. 2. And 2. two. two. What, is common, what is common between 8y and 16? 8. What is left? Y and 8. Really? No, I am two plus two plus two. Sorry, plus two. Oh. What is common plus here? Two, common here. CC, wake up. What is common? Y plus two. Y plus two. So, in a same answer in a, in a chat, sir. Yes. No. So, you know, I'll go read it. That money and I even look in a chat. That, that's on my card now. Is card in here? Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, me not like we are going in a car lane, like you keep malice with teacher. No, me not keep malice, sir. Me not catch up. Me not, me not... Yeah, catch up? Mm, you falling, you falling, Carly? Yeah, me not follow, sir. Good job. All right, CC, I mm -hmm. see your answer. All right, nice, nice, my love. But you have two different answers with CC. I wish I... Hmm. First one was for the first question one, sir. Okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. Sir, can right. I say something? Go right ahead, sir. Sure, sure. All right. I did not factorize. I did not break it down, but I still end up with the same answer. You did not break it down? Yes. Up the top where you, you said two. So I use the four. The four X. Say what? No. I, I said Y equal four X and break it down and arrive at the same answer that you have. Y equals four X? Yeah. So I'm going to get the same answer, so. Y equals 4x, no, where get 4x from? No, the 4x, sir, that you have in the question right here. 4x. 
four I students. Don't have, okay. Sorry. I did that and I used, I just call it Y. And I said that Y equal 2X square and two, 2X. Two and I just do the um simplifying and I, and I get the same answer. Oh, you just say this for four, you just call four to the XY squared. Yeah. I'm breaking it down. And I still arrive at the same answer that you have now. But I'm following your um way, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, um let me tell you what happened. Anybody? Let me tell you what happened. Is the grace of God the side that you made that happen? Because you can't and 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 if you did something like that, and the question is 12 marks. I give you 10 marks out of the 12. Because y is not going to be equal to 4 to the x. You know why, mommy? Look here. What are we in here for? Write down for this piece. We're going to write for 2 to the x. Why? Talk to me now. Sir, all right. I have y equal 2x. It, it keeps saying 2x, though. It's not 2x. 2 to the x. y equals 2 to the x. Yes. And then we use x. Sir, me get it. Me do it wrong. But we end up at the same answer. And I'm saying the only reason you end up here is because there's no number multiplying this 4 to the x. It's like what I have. This is 6 times... Right. To the x. Mm -hmm. If I had something like three times four to the x, your answer would have been incorrect. I understand. Yeah, man. All right. But what I'm happy about though is that you were able to unmute to tell me what it is that you've done. So I could point it out to you because if you had done that, thank you the same answer. You said, show me how to do method because my method worked. And then you try it for another question and you don't get the answer. That's true, sir. Yeah, man. All right, so let's continue. So either y plus 2 equals 0, and that implies that y is equal to negative 2. Okay, trouble. Do I have a solution here? No, for the first one, it's a negative number, so you don't have a solution. Good job. So, y equals 8, but y is equal to 2 to the x. Sir, so, uh, always, go ahead. Is, is there another way you can, you can do this? Because when I did it, I got negative. I got negative 2, right? But... I did, um I left mine at negative two. Okay. I didn't do all of that, but I got negative two. Yeah, but 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 what but that... it's incomplete. Okay. Yeah, man. So you're but correct. Is, is that I'm factorizing? I factorize it um right out. Yeah. But we never yeah. do not know. No, let's why be this and let all of that so. I guess maybe I teach it the wrong way. No, I'm the, the correct way. So you don't need to get with this. Because you just do the question halfway. All right. Okay. So now, 2 to the x equals 8. What do I do? You notice, you notice the questions that I gave for homework some time ago. That in at every point in time for these questions you can get a simple um in this equation. I don't mean sorry, it's gonna be two to the log. I'm gonna log x to log two. I don't mean I don't mean I wouldn't um mean x log two what? Um X log two equals log eight and then you divide it by, 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 by x two log two by both sides. Very good, very good, very good. 
What is log? What is log eight divided by log two? Three. Is there any? Is there another way that anybody did this question? Yes, yeah, sir. You can use um indices where um two raised to the power of x, and then you can simplify the eight um as two thirds or two raised to the third power. X equals three. Very good. How are you all feeling towards this question now? Our topic. Not so bad again. Um. I need to I practice think... these questions because I need to go over because I really and truly I'm still struggling. No problem. The more you do, um, DD is the more you can get you can get that it. I promise you. You know. Hmm. So then... what is the semester? What is your exam? Good question. I forgot to sit and think about it. I'll let you know by Thursday, God's willing. Okay, sir. Just remember me. Here. Okay, sir. Yeah, man. What about the medical self or whatever it is? Yeah, man. Um, I by, by next class I should have something definitive to tell you as well. All right, we're gonna again give you this last question for for the night. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, I don't think they're gonna use Edico for your class to you know, call it statistics class, not using it. No, nobody's nobody, nobody has it just yet. That's what I'm saying because we're oh. working on something. So, um, by tomorrow, I suppose I have something definitive. All right, so class work... face to face, face to face with the, with the face -to -face, no? oh, um, for the exam. Yeah. Hmm. It's a thought. It's a thought, Shan Shan. All right. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. No, I'm going to give you five minutes. You think you can do it in five minutes? There's also a trick to this question. Just look at it. You've done indices. You've done logarithms. Just look at the something and not really anything about this trick. Look at it. And try as best as possible. I give you five minutes and sir, then I'll come back the to you. Where's the question? Where's the question, sir? It's right there. No, you've seen it, don't. Yes, sir. Tell, you just reached us. No, sir. Oh, just read. She just read, sir. Just read. But we not, what we not understand? Or oh, you come across and not talk to me, Phil? Yeah, but I'm here trying to read this. We are the can't talk to me. But but this not safe, though, Jesus. This have me worried. Yeah, move like you now. Understand, Phil? Sir, what's seen in the bracket? Three to the power x.
हाँ इसलिए Who's there, guys? Are we finished? So I can't find the trick to this question again. You can't find a trick? No, oh, so you're saying that you're able to do the question then? The, 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 the power 2x plus 1 is puzzling me. I, it made me stuck. All right. I expected that. Bell. I expected that some somebody was going to get stuck, right? All right, let's go. What well, FTT? Tiana, go ahead. Yeah, I was asking, um, how you did the quadratic text and say what number when you when you add it, it gives you and when you times it, it gives you. I just need to know so I can raise it every point. You need a what? You need a notes? All right. When you're solving the middle part. Either it's a way, it's a when you add it, when you add two numbers, it gives you this. And when it times it, it gives you this. I just want to know exactly what I'm talking about. Your motion coefficient of the square term, uh, the constant term, so that when multiplied, it gives the product. But when added, it gives it a middle term. This is what I've done right here. Yes, sir. So my three to the two X plus one from the laws of indices is the same thing as three to the two X times three to the first power. And if you let y equals to 2 to the x? No. What is y going to be equal to this time? 3x. 3 raised no. to the power of x. Good job. Three raised to the power of x. So therefore, y squared is equal to? 3 raised to the power of 2x. Good job. So look at what I'm going to do now. I'm going to call this y squared times 3 to the first power, which is 3. Then it's 26 times y minus 9 equals 0. That now becomes 3y squared minus 26y minus 9 equals 0. So I'm multiplying the coefficient of y squared. Um, TT, watch this now. I'm multiplying the coefficient of y squared by the constant. y squared is going to be 3. The constant is 2. Serena's writing. Well, what are the factors? One and negative 
Yeah, I think the 26 is correct. So I'm not going to say 3y squared plus 1y. And I still don't tell me why. Minus 9 equals 0. Grouping 3y squared plus 1y in one bracket. Always leave the middle sign out every time something happens to the last sign. When they pass with a negative sign, what happens? Changes. What was what, what was it before? It was negative, so now it's positive. It's positive. What is common between three y squared and 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 y and one y? Y. Good job. What is left? Two squared. What? No. Yeah. Three y. Three y, three y, now that moves. What is coming between 27 and 9? 9. What is left? Three y plus 1. What is coming between those two terms? 3 y plus 1. What is left? Y minus nine equals zero. Then I don't. Then it was the same or either. But it implies no. Why is it supposed to make it third? Can I get a solution for that? No, sir. It's a value of why. Nine. And then, first and finish. No? No, sir, not finish it. You have to go back. You have to go change it over. Who is it? Is that two to the two to the X? Or the nine, it's three mm -hmm. square, three raised three, yeah, three mm -hmm. raised to the four, three times three, three. to the x, or three to the x, it's going to equal to nine, yeah. Um, what do we do? Man, can we written as well as what? Three uh, squared. squared, and the bases are the same, you equate the four. The x equal to why well, I must still need for the practice or something here because they I know I know I need to work fine. Same. Nine o'clock on the dot, and we are going to stop. Sir. Yes, please. Um, I'm trying to understand the rule that you did about the three to the two x plus one is the same mm -hmm. as is the same as three to the two x times three to the first power. Mm hmm. How do I mean? So where are the other work problems? 
I don't understand it, Winnie. The other work, the other, the others that he didn't get to finish. This is three. This is problem three. Where are the others? Or you don't have any more for us? I don't have any more just now for you. All right, so we'll practice those. So I guess I would have to practice the way that you do it because I did it a different way and I still arrive at the same answer. What I did was to call um for the 2x plus 1. Mm -hmm. I called that y square and I said y equal 3 to the x and I substitute and then I arrive at the same answer. Mm -hmm. So you do it a different no. way from me. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get the same answer. Okay, I forgot how to up y squared and it's three. Sir, I got the same answer. You need to you need to send me an email. Just take a picture of what you have and send me an okay. email. Robbie. All right, sir. Sir. Mm. All right. Did you say it's equal to three to the two x times three to the first power? Mm hmm When you multiply the when you multiply the power, you do. Um. Sorry. When you multiply the power, you add it. You're talking the first rule of indices. No, it's just what what the, what you just asked me a while ago was logarithms. But I'm the same to you. Um, three raised to the two x plus one. I recognize that can be can be broken down into three raised to the two x, and then three raised to the first power. All right. Um. So uh, I remember this in the recording of the class on the 10th of October, please. Yeah, it's how they send the recordings to me. So that's why that one was sent it. So clearly they didn't send the 10th of October. Oh, okay. do me a favor, Tevin. Um, I'm wondering if I uploaded. Uh, um, uh, uh, Tevin, do me a favor, look. When you're going to the channel, there is the last, the last calculus one. The last calculus one I posted. Just click on it and see if it's bit, um, pre calculus is talking about. I think I may have, made, may, have, may have made a mistake right there. The last okay. calculus one that was posted, just check to see if it's really pre calculus. And maybe that is a 10th, and then let me know here. Okay, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one of the problems I'm having. You don't put the date on them. So let me tell you what is happening. So when I finish this class now, the um the recording does not come immediately. So when the recording comes, all I can do is just lift it over to my email and um and just drop it in the in the stuff. So it doesn't come, so I can't even for me to go on and, and go through the recording and say, okay. An, um lesson on industrial equations. I don't think I have time to do that because chances are <laughs> when I'm uploading the, the videos, I just um click on just upload. So I really apologize. I know it's tough, but in any event, I have to go through all of them. So yes, sir. Well, you know, you like do it in sequence first, you know, when you have to click all over the place, it just gets mm -hmm. tedious. All right. Take your scroll, go down a little bit, please. Um, what I want to do is send it off. Are you now in the WhatsApp group, Gilly? Yes, sir. All sir? Right. Yes, please. If this is in the WhatsApp group? No, I'm I just asking Gillian if she was in the WhatsApp group. Oh, oh. I'm gonna send this off now. Right there, Gillian? Yes, sir. 
all right. Um, you kind of took a speech about it, um, Julie. Guys, I'm running. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for putting up with me for another um class. Big up yourself, study hard. All right. Night, sir. Good night. Yes, night, sir. class. Come on.